morning, South Florida, and welcome to this edition of the Frost Jazz Hour right here on WDNA's 88.9 FM, the home of serious jazz. I'm your host, Marcello Corelli, and we are very excited to have a new uh, group that doing their debut performance on the Frost Jazz Hour. This class was, uh, this is actually a class that was offered at Frost about three years ago. Martin Bejarano started this class. It's called the Piano Trios class, and it's basically a group with the same rhythm section. You have bass and drums, and then two different piano players switching on and off. And um, what better than to have two incredible piano players, Mr. Ray McCurry on the piano, and then Mr. Con Aurora will join us on the next tune. Um, on the bass, we have Patrick Levy, and on the drums, Joe Marine, Joe Enright. Oh. And um, so we're very excited. I mean, the, the two of them have been on the show uh, a few weeks ago. I believe they're on the show with Trent um, Fournier. And uh, so we're very excited to, to hear some music from these trios. And uh, they need no more introduction. Here is the Ray McCurry piano trio.
Yeah. Ray McCurry. That was a nice tune, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell us, man, what was the name of that one? Yeah, that tune was called uh, Yorkshire. I had, to, I had to check to make sure, but it's definitely Yorkshire. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> when, how, how recently did you write that one, man? Uh, pretty recent. Uh, within the last month, uh, it was uh, coming up on a, on a little performance at uh, the Friday Forum performances, and I decided I should probably, should probably write something. It's time to, time to get some more writing out. So I uh, spent, a, spent a little time making this one, and uh, I, thought, I think it turned out all right. How about, how about you? Do you think it was... Uh... Oh, it was wonderful, <laughs> man. Yeah, it sounded great, and, but, uh, and you guys really got to stretch out on it, and too. Um, yeah, and it certainly helps having these cats on it. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You guys have a great sound together as a trio. I can tell you all have been playing together for a semester at least, you know, in this group. Yeah. So, um, yeah, on that note, um, you know, because this is a piano trios class, what are uh, maybe your top three or some of your favorite piano trios to kind of grab information from and have been influential to you? Ooh, my favorite three... It's, it's, it's hard because there's so many. It's the, it's, it's the thing. It's they're really all really influential. So uh, um, I'd, I'd probably say Oscar Peterson probably was, is, is a big influence. Kind of, it's kind of a staple. So, I mean, um, <laughs> Fred Hirsch, I think he, he does some really killing stuff. And uh, I'm to go with Brad Meldow as my third. Nice. Um, all, those, all those guys have just some uh, – they're, they're very, very, very different, but they have some – know have had a lot to say musically for yeah. a very long time absolutely so. yeah um and what you know being in this trio class what's been your favorite part about playing with this kind of this set rhythm section for for uh and working for, with martin especially in this class yeah these um i think one of the one of the biggest things is that you kind of get to sit down just it's just the rhythm section and so you, you really get to indulge in understanding more about the bass and the drums and in other other groups you're not really able to do that necessarily because there's horns you know pes pesky horns you gotta <laughs> gotta involve them sometimes so True, man. Who needs otherwise them? they get lonely so you know. <laughs> but but it's it's been really nice to to kind of get to know the ins and outs of of, of playing with bass and drums and i i think i've uh i've improved quite a bit in my uh, just since the beginning of the semester and it hasn't been a whole lot of time but it's um, I, I just feel more comfortable even playing playing with these guys. So great, man! Uh, and of course, Martin's just a ridiculous pianist himself and an incredible teacher. So um, I mean, it certainly does not hurt to have him as, as your teacher. So. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, you're quite the composer. I know you might be playing another one of your compositions later in the set, but are you planning because you're graduating um, this semester? Uh, are you planning on doing some more writing or focusing more on that or playing when you graduate? I think I'm, I'm planning mostly to go into writing a little more. I was actually uh, hoping to get into some film scoring recently. Oh, so really? awesome. uh, that's been my, my, latest, my latest thing. But uh, uh, it's really hard, man. <laughs> film, yeah, writing nice. and, 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 and film scoring on top of that, uh, it's, it's tough. But it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. So Great. hopefully... We'll hear, you'll hear more about it. So. Oh, we sure will. <laughs> All right, look out for Ray. Thanks for talking with us. We're going to actually bring up our next pianist, Mr. Connor Rohr. And then, uh, then we're going to take a quick break. We're already close to the, bot of the uh, bottom of the hour here. But um, we're gonna do our, they're going to do a, tri a, a tune by Mulgrew Miller entitled Return Trip. Enjoy this one right here on WDNA's 88.9 FM.
Return Trip by Mulgrew Miller. We're going to take a quick pause, so don't go away. We'll be back in about a minute or so. Welcome back to this edition of the Frost Jazz Hour right here on 88.9 FM, the home of serious jazz. You've been hearing from the Ray McCurry and Connor Rohr piano trio class uh, here at, at, at the Frost Hour. And um, the first two tunes you heard were Yorkshire by Ray and Return Trip by Mulgrew Miller. Um, before we continue with some more music, I wanted to talk to my friend here, Patrick Levy. Hey, welcome, man. How's it going, Marcello? Okay, man. It's good to see you. Um, so yeah, in, in your the, the, in your soloing, I hear a lot of these kind of double stop things going on. I really, it's really it fascinates me, man. Um, maybe expand upon that. I know you've been doing some some uh, dig deeping and uh, digging deep and writing a little bit about it. Yeah, talk a little bit. Yeah, about it. Um, so that comes from I guess listening to a ton of Eddie Gomez, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like a lot of his stuff with with Chick. You can hear a lot of that going on. And then also trying to transcribe some like Lenny Tristano maybe, and then seeing where you can fit in into the single lines where he's putting some of the chords, you know, if you could grab two or three of those voices just to have that effect. Yeah. Um, and so actually last semester, I decided that one of my goals before I leave here is to codify a lot of it and put it into maybe an etude book. Um, I don't know if I can get it published in the, in the next year because I still have a lot of work ahead of me, but you know, I, I want to, I want to do that before I graduate just to have something tangible, you know? It'd be great, man. Yeah. I think people would dig it, man. A lot of a lot of bass players out there, you know, some hidden information. Yeah, you know? why not? Just challenging stuff, right? Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah. So, I mean, you said Eddie Gomez, but who are some of your other fa most influential bass players? Right yeah, now? I, uh, Eddie, uh, John Patitucci, George Mraz, uh, for walking, a lot of Ron Carter stuff. I'd say that those guys are, are the most up there, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, and... Um, Oh, yeah, I, I was going to ask, um, you know, playing with two different piano players and having to kind of adjust to, like, their tendencies or their, you know, their strengths, what do you think, what are some of the main differences between Ray and Connor's playing that you've noticed while playing with them? Um, I, it's, it's very different. There's, like, I, I guess I didn't realize how much until I played, like, switching off every song but yeah like honestly voice something as specific as voicings mm. you know you hear different density um ray has like a little more dense voicings but they're super beautiful you know i'm not it's not a sacrifice but you know it, it's just something to be aware of and so i don't know finding different range things to work against that or with it uh was, was a big thing and then just a different time feel you know feeling where the lines fall on the pulse that, that Joe and I have set up and yeah. just being conscious of it. It, it. It's it's very fun to play with both of them. Uh, this is probably the best class at Frost, but <laughs> that's, that's great. That's all I've got, yeah. Yeah, I'd recommend anybody at Frost who's watching to take, <laughs> take this class because it's how you really take your trio playing to the next level. Um, well, cool, man. Thanks for talking with us. I don't want to take too much more time. Yeah, but, thanks um, for having I'm us. looking forward to hearing the rest of the set. We're gonna start the. Uh, they're gonna start the next set off with this great Tony Williams composition. You know, drummers can write. You know, so Tony Williams' Pee Wee is up, and we got Ray on piano this time.
Woo. Wonderful, wonderful. That was Tony Williams' Pee Wee. But we're going to bring Connor back up. And um, Connor will be playing the, the role of the masterful Fred Hirsch on this next tune and is entitled Art Song, uh, composed by, by Fred Hirsch. Um, again, we have Patrick Levy on the bass and Joe Enright on the drums. Here is Art Song.
Man, what an awesome tune. Uh, before we, uh, before this trio with Ray plays their last tune of the set, I'm trying to rem remind our viewers that we have a few upcoming performances. Next week, next Thursday at this time, we have the Eric Stern Trio with, uh, I think, Blake Aldridge on bass and Henry Moore on drums. And then April 29th, the week after, we have Philip Capuzzi's Trio. And then the week after that, Brian Dubrell will, will make his way back to the show. And then Russ Spiegel will be with us on May 13th. So um, a lot of great music um, coming up in the next month or so. So to finish off, uh, I believe this is going to be another composition uh, by Ray. All right, this, this one's entitled Tweety. Ray, what, what inspired your, uh, your name for this one? That's a really good question. <laughs> I have no idea. I see. Honestly, I was trying to get a name that would I would start with a T. That way, it would end up in a certain spot on my Sibelius list uh, when I was scrolling down, just to keep things in order. So, wow. really, really strange, but it kind of worked. You know what? Yeah, happened for a reason, bro. <laughs> so here it is, Tweety by Ray McCurry. Hope you've enjoyed this show. I sure have, and we'll be we'll be back next week with more music on. WDNA's 88.9 FM, the home of serious jazz.
Yeah, guys. That was Tweety, composed by Ray McCurry. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this this morning's show on WDNA's 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. That was the Piano Trios class. Hopefully we can have them this or this particular class back on the show soon. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we will see you next week, next Thursday at 11, 11 a.m. here on the Frost Jazz Hour. Why don't you guys play us out a little bit of the blues or something? Quick, yeah. <laughs>